if um, French troops are stationed in specific uh, cities like Odessa, it would be um, uh, a kind of um, uh, a kind of a signal to to Russia that if you move to this uh, city, it means a possibility of direct clash. So it's an attempt to arrest Russian attempts to uh, advance. Uh, and in general, uh, this uh, particular initiative, it come in a very uh, turning point, uh, inflection point of this war. So we should be honest that it's uh, the most difficult period of uh, war with Russia since uh, 2022, since a big war started. Because uh, now we need to sustain these two consensuses, one inside Ukraine, that Ukraine should fight to improve its negotiation position, and another outside Ukraine, that this Ukrainian self-defense should be supported. And uh, this um, uh, France initiative, for sure, uh, in the uh, near term, it uh, uh, creates uh, some divisions, because we see that not all or not all of European countries welcome this initiative. But in middle and long term, it might be a boost for Ukraine. It actually in a, a di direct opposite to what uh, Putin uh, wanted to attain when he made a speech on the 24th of February 2022, when he uh, said that, well, we want to have uh, NATO as far as possible out of our borders. Instead, we see a readiness of uh, major Western European countries to bring their troops to form coalition of willing and to have as much uh, NATO countries, European countries in Ukraine as possible. So it's a direct antithesis to everything uh, Putin uh, said. And uh, in general, I would like to sum up that as for me, uh, there is more and more understanding. People finally accept the reality. So either Ukraine is aided and uh, it's successful in its defense, uh, or there is a risk of direct clash between Russia and European NATO countries with bigger risk. So finally, uh, European countries, Western countries, they want to act more proactively, they are ready to act more proactively. And this kind of involvement, a uh, prudent one with a bigger coalition, uh, ad hoc coalition of willing, it for sure might bring this war to a conclusion on favorable terms to Ukraine and global peace and security.